So I have a lot of people asking questions that is Bitcoin a good investment? So sometimes I don't say yes or no, but just keep quiet because to some, they've experienced the worst out of Bitcoin and some also have experienced the best out of Bitcoin. So this is a debatable question, but let's dive into it. And at the end of the day, I will share my opinion about what I think or what I see in terms of this debate, whether it's a good or bad investment. So Bitcoin, as it is, but let me let you know, if you want to trade in Bitcoin, you need to start with getting an exchange. And uh, there are a lot of exchanges that you can use on. Use, don't just make, make sure that you trade in a uh, recognized exchange. Don't go and exchange with somebody who has just sat in his room and created an exchange to do people. Use a globalized trade in terms of a global exchange that everybody knows. It has over 1 million people trading on that. So you can use Bybit, you can use Binance, you can use OKX, you can use KuCoin. Eight of them, you can also use exchanges or so platforms that are just only wallets. They help you to hold the wallet, like KuCoin, no, like uh, Trust Pilot. And also, there are a lot of Konami and stuff. But let's go through the analysis in terms of Bitcoin and how it spares. So this is Bitcoin. If you want to invest in Bitcoin, you need to know the type of platforms to use in terms of uh, doing your research. So one of them is CoinMarketCap. So let's click on Bitcoin. And let's see the current price of it. So we're going to see the current price of it. It's currently 64,209. It's going to fluctuate based on you can see 64,213. It just keeps in 64,210. It's just up and down. But let's look at how it started, right? And the lowest it has gone that we can use to do this investment or to do this analysis. So Bitcoin in 2013 and uh, in 2010 they are bought this is what the price was so when you come down here all-time low july 14 2010 14 years ago bitcoin was 0 0.04865 that was the price of bitcoin 0 0.04865 right and uh all-time high of bitcoin went to 73,750 that's in 2014 uh, 2024 this year march 14 2014 four months ago then today is 64208 so it simply tells you that it's up and down but let's talk talk about this in 2010 or when bitcoin started you could actually get at least 10 of bitcoin with one dollar you could get like 20 worth of bitcoin 20 coins with one dollar because you can see oh, it's all-time low. Multiply this. Multiply this by one dollar. You should be getting like somewhere 10 or 20 pieces of that. So, and today, one of the 20 pieces you've gotten is 64,204. And that's 14 years ago. So tell me, what can you buy in this world with less than a dollar? And in 14 years, it can give you 64,000. So imagine I was having 10 Bitcoins, BTCs. Today, I should be a, a, worth a lot of money. If I was to have like 20, just 20, buy Bitcoin in like with $1 and get like 20 pieces, 20 BTCs, I should be a millionaire by now today. So you can see so the argument is some people also argue that oh a lot of people have invested for example if you just see bitcoin 64,000, you don't take time like uh how it was seventy three thousand, and you go to invest in bitcoin you're going to invest at that time without doing due diligence you are going to get back to sixty five thousand. so you will have lost a lot of money just by that today's price you'll have lost a lot of money because you bought at 73,000 and now it has dropped down to 64,000 and even less so you see that you to you you may say oh it's not a good investment but to some people who started when it was four hundred dollars thousand dollars ten ten thousand or even twenty thousand dollars 
will you be smiling and say that's the best investment ever uh, that you can have but above that bitcoin is a medium of exchange so you can see that credit cards there's visas mastercards they've accepted bitcoin and you can actually go to some banks and cash out bitcoin your real money with bitcoin and people have been able to use bitcoin to buy cars to buy properties to buy even houses so you can see it's a medium of exchange to make it accessible easy for people to be able to use for example in africa here it's very difficult for africans to transfer money from africa to europe and to america very difficult but with bitcoin you can just sit down with one dollar transaction fee you should be able to do a transaction to another person who is on the bitcoin platform so you see generally i will say that bitcoin is a good investment and that is why you need to learn about it trade with it and create more opportunities for it so you can see that as i'm sitting down trading of bitcoin and that alone is giving me some leverage to be able to do one or two things so also go out learn to trade learn to create opportunities and learn to do more see you like this subscribe also share your opinion and let's see whether bitcoin is a good investment or bad investment bye bye